Okay, all right, so uh, we are back again and uh, I'm trying to squeeze this in before lunch. And uh, I don't know, I just think I will have uh, more peace if I could shoot at least two of these videos today. Okay, all right, now anyway, so today we're in unit two, lesson five. So what are we doing? We're adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so the last lesson you guys were multiplying, dividing fractions. We are now uh, adding and subtracting. Okay, so what is it? Well, adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting unlike fractions requires you to recall a previously learned concept, the LCM. What is the LCM again? That's right, lowest common multiple. Now, in our case, we're going to replace the M with the letter D because that stands for denominator. So what do I mean by that? So here you have one half plus let's say one half, right? Let's just say that. That means you add the numerators, but the denominator stays the same. So these are called like fractions, by the way. Why they like? Well, they have the same denominator. Okay, so by the way, in this case, two over two is one. Okay, nothing crazy there. What are unlike fractions? Well, unlike fraction is something that you see for number one, which means three fourths plus two thirds, right? Different denominators, unlike fractions. So here we have three fourths plus two thirds. Now, what's the trick here? And I hope you can do this in your head by now without writing it down. What's the lowest common multiple between four and three? So let me write this down. What's the LCM between three and four? What is it? Yeah, 12. So you cannot add it until the denominators are the same. Okay, think of it like that. Now, that begs the question, how does four become a 12? That's right, you multiply by three. And so, that would also beg the question, what would three times three be then? Because you're gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Okay, so what's three times three? Nine. Similarly, how does three become the 12 here? That's right, times four, right? So that also begs the question, what is two here? times four then, what would that be? That's right, eight. So here we got nine plus eight because now that these denominators are the same, we can actually just operate on them by adding. So nine plus eight, 17, 17 over 12. Now, typically you should rewrite this as a um, mixed number. So what would that be? One and five. 12s. Okay, so that's that. That's how you do it. All right, so let's take a look at three more examples. So we're here, we have exercise two, number two, so we're done with one. So number two, two fifths minus one fourths. What's the common multiple between five and four? Yep, 20. So the LCD, the lowest common denominator, is 20. So again, Question, five times what gives you 20? Times four, right? So what's two times four? That's right, eight. Similarly, what is four times, what, what is, how does four become 20? Right, five. So what's one times five? 
5. Okay, and so now we have 8 minus 5, right, because they have the same denominator. You can just operate on them by subtracting. 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 over 20. Okay, all right, let's do two more. And then I'll let you practice. 3 and a half plus 1 eighth. By the way, that's how I write 3 and a half when I type it, okay? Because I couldn't write it in otherwise. Now, here we got a little bit of a problem because this is a mixed number. So you got to take that into account. So you got to turn that into an improper fraction first. And then you can add it to 1 eighth. So what is this as an improper fraction? See, but remember. Right, what's the common denominator? Or common multiple? Lowest common multiple? Least common multiple? Right, eight, right? Now, that brings up to this question. How does two become eight over here? That's right, times four. Slight same thing here, likewise. So let's see, what is that? One, but seven times four, yeah, am I right? Yep, seven, four is 28. Now, this part's a little tricky, but not really. How does eight become eight? Right, no change, right? So eight times what will give you eight? Yeah, times one. So in other words, you don't really have to do anything. This is still one. Let's add that. 29 over eight, we gotta convert that back into a mixed number. The denominator is eight, eight going to 29, three times for five left over. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, one more. Now, what is this? Ah, oh, I like this one. This one's good. Number four. 20 minus one and three tenths. Now, here you're, you're presented with two issues. One is you got a whole number here, and then you got a uh, mixed number here. So how should we approach this? So one, rewrite this as a fraction. Now, what's 20 as a fraction? Yeah, 20 over one. That's what that is. And then now, I'm gonna convert this too. So I'm gonna convert one and three tenths into an improper fraction. What would that be? That's right, 13 tenths, right? So, what's the common denominator or common multiple between one and 10? What is it, what do you think? What's the LCM? Yeah, 10, okay? So that again begs the question, how does one become 10? Yeah, times 10. So what's 20 times 10? Think about that. Yep, 200. Okay, and then likewise, how does 10 become 10? Well, times one, so nothing changes. So that's 13, right? And so that would make it, um, what is it? What's 200 minus 13? That's right, 187 over 10. If you want to, and which means you should, turn that back into a mixed number, all right, which will be denominator of 10, 10 going to 187, 18 times with seven left over. Okay, and there's your answer. Okay, so with that said, by the way, if you don't understand this at any point, you can always go back and either rewatch it or pause and go back, okay? So let's practice with these. So by the way, why are we doing this? Okay, the reason why you need to use the um, LCM is because you can't, as I demonstrated in class, you can't subtract fractions with different denominators because you're not even measuring them, measuring them the same. So now I'm gonna draw a very crude drawing. So let's say I got a box, I, let's say I got four boxes here, right? And I like shade one of them. That's not the same as subtracting a number like this, where it's like, so for example, or adding, right? So let's say this is one fourth plus one third. You can't add them, why? Because these little parts, these little parts weren't even the same size to begin with. So why would you, why would you add them? So that's why you got to find a way to cut them in such a manner that these will actually be out of 12s. 
then you can add them, then you can operate on them, okay? So this is why, all right? When do you do that? Well, when the denominators are different, right? Okay, try these. So try these, pause, try these, and then I'll go over it, all right? And we're back. Okay, so I'm gonna work these out pretty quickly just because I wanna get under the 10 minute mark, which is probably not gonna happen. All right, common denominator is 35. Five times seven is 35. Two times seven is 14. Seven times five is 35. Six times five is 30. So that's 44 over 35 or Let's see, uh, one and nine thirty-fifths. Okay, and we can reduce, so there's nothing to reduce. All right, okay. Now this one, I should use a different ink for this. All right, now this is 12 over one, minus uh, four times three is 12, 12, 13 fourths, right? Common denominator is, yep, that's right, four. So one times four is four, 12 times four, 48. That stays the same. Subtract, what is that? 35 over four. So that's uh, four going to 35, eight times, eight and three fourths. Okay, one last one. Four fifths. Now I actually wanna show you this one um, also because I think this is good practice. So same thing, rewrite. What's this as a uh, improper fraction? 41 over eight, right? Common denominator is 40. How did five become 40 times eight? So eight times four is 32. How does eight become 40 here? Times five, so five times 41, okay. So that's uh, five times one is five, five times four is 20, 205. So let's see, what is that? Add them together, so 237 over 40, or, now I'm trying to do this in my head, so let's see, what is that? 237 over 40, which is four, yep, five times, yeah, because five times 40 is 200, so 37 40 is. There you go, okay? So once again, I really hope this was able to uh, at least give you uh, a little support with adding fractions. Thanks for watching and uh